killer. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Gamer here, back again with another video discussing the, uh, the uh, episode 83 of Dragon Ball Super. I stuttered right there, and I apologize for that. <laughs> but no, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and get uh, right into the review of the episode. And it starts off with uh, everyone that was there and the Zen exhibition match being the Supreme Kai, Beerus, Whis, Gohan, Goku, Boo, Hercule. You know, all them, they get back to Earth because they're all getting ready to gather up every single powerful warrior that they can think of for uh, uh, the, the actual match that will be holding place to decide their fate, whether or not they're going to be destroyed or not. You know, so it's just, so before that, when they immediately get there on Earth to Bulma's place, Bulma is... Uh, getting closer and closer to having her child her baby right and so uh after that after we're shown that uh balma is like exercising or whatever on like an exercise like yoga ball or whatever uh they go ahead and they start discussing uh who who should they get who should they get to go ahead and participate in this tournament of power which like i said before is going to decide the fate of not only just universe 7 for every other universe of whether or not they're going to be getting erased from existence. So what happens is that they go ahead and they basically decide on on Piccolo and Vegeta uh, because those are kind of like two obvious ones and also obviously the three that were there for the Zen exhibition match being Gohan, uh, Gohan Goku and Boo, Majin Boo. And so they go ahead and decide Piccolo and Vegeta with that too and then they start um, they start wondering about who else can join. And so they go ahead and then they decide on Master Roshi because uh, he has experience with uh, like tournaments from the past. If you've watched Dragon Ball, you, you, you already know that. And he also has some hidden techniques that we may or may not know of. Um, and then they go ahead and decide on Krillin too because he started training recently. And then he, al he also knows like the destructive disc or the Kianzan. And then also the solar flare and just other techniques as well. So they go ahead and pick up Krillin, and then uh, the first time since the since the Cell arc, uh, they finally uh, Android 17 is finally gonna have some relevance because they actually mentioned him in this uh, latest episode in episode 83. And so they go ahead and they decide picking up uh, Krillin, Cell, not Cell. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, Krillin, 18, and 17. Right, they, de they decide to go pick up those three, and then uh, they're trying to find, I believe, one more person. I, I, I believe I'm, I'm miscounting uh, one more person, but we already know uh, from like late, the latest screenshots and, and such others on the internet that we already know that they're going to they're gonna go ahead and pick up Tien, and in case you haven't noticed, all the fighters that are going to take, uh, take part in this a tournament of power all earthlings or they're all from earth which is kind of convenient but that's just that's the point and so they're they're just they're trying to figure out who they can get for the last person and they actually mention uh goten and trunks being a part of the, the team as well so that way they can uh, not only just get stronger but they would be uh strong enough uh for what can be going for what can happen in the tournament of power but then Goku mentions that their inexperience and, and raw power by itself isn't going to be enough for the, what, what, what's going to happen, essentially, because you have to knock your opponents off of, off of the, the stage, the arena. And so they, so they decide not to go with Goten and Trunks, and then they keep on thinking about who, they, who should they get next. And then after that, uh, Goku and Gohan, they go and talk to Vegeta, because... Uh, Goku being who he is, he's like, I'm getting excited fighting all these strong guys from all the other universes. It's going to be like a total of 80 guys in a battle royale on just one stage, and you have to go knock each other off. And then whoever's left uh, essentially wins the whole thing. And then Vegeta is like, no, you're going to have to count me out. And you're like, why? And Vegeta is like, well, because Bulma basically fucking told me to stay here. 
so that way like I can be there for the child and then so because of that we straight straight up walks into the room where Bulma is at you know being pregnant and all and this is like the best part of the episode I, I was so it was so bizarre of how this happened but we walks into the room he's like yo what's up and then through sheer like magic powers of his fucking staff he just pops the baby out and then there you go like the baby's born it's healthy and it's happy i thought that was the most bizarre thing to happen in the series so far but there have been weirder things that happened before at least i feel like but that is one of the weirdest things i have ever seen in anime and just in general and so uh bulla or bra from uh, as you know from gt is now born uh it, it's obviously a girl if, if you guys have watched gt at all whatsoever and so because of that Vegeta can now officially take part in a tournament and we don't have to worry about anything and so I keep on saying and so a lot I apologize for that so uh, after that they're just like having fun with the baby and stuff like that and Vegeta's just kind of there being Vegeta he's kind of like pissed off all he gets he gets pissed off like really pissed off if someone makes uh bra I'm, I'm gonna refer to baby as bra because I hate bulla uh, but I might I might refer bra to bulla sometimes, so it doesn't matter uh, at all whatsoever. But any single time, like the baby cries, bra, uh, he he goes into his, uh, his Super Saiyan Blue transformation. And I thought that was hilarious how that would happen because the only people who made uh, uh, bra cry was uh, Hercule, and then of course Yancha. He ends up showing up later in the episode. And so fast forward a little bit. Uh, Goku goes ahead and goes to Krillin's house, so he can tell Krillin that there is gonna there's gonna be a tournament of power gonna, that's gonna go down in like 39 hours, uh, and um, and that's what the end of the episode says. And there's only 39 hours left, and they have to go pick up the rest of the fighters, and then of course pick up one more person, and they uh, they don't know who they're gonna pick up yet, but we already know that it's gonna be Tien. <laughs> so. That's going to go ahead and wrap up the, uh, the video and also the end of the episode for episode 83. If you guys enjoyed my bad commentary, be sure to drop a like for that. But of course, if you're also new to the channel, be sure to, be sure to subscribe for future, uh, for future videos just like this. Let me do that one more time. Uh, if, if you guys are brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe for future videos just like this and also for other future content that may or may not be coming out because something's going to be coming out on just a few days on the 28th and I'm very excited for it and you might you might see a couple videos on it, you may not, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, like I said, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like if you're new, subscribe, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out.